Good afternoon, I'm Joe Donlin. And I'm Erica Sargent. Now to big news in Chicago. The Bears announcing plans to leave Soldier Field, but not the lakefront. Instead, they want to build a dome stadium right next door. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza joins us near Soldier Field live. And Sabrina, this is far from a done deal, though. Joe, that's right. There's still so many unanswered questions like what happens to this legendary building here at Soldier Field? Is the new stadium just going to move a little bit to the south of where we're standing now? And who will pay for it all? That seems to be some of the details that the mayor, the Bears and the state are still ironing out. I want the Bears to say in the city of Chicago. Mayor Brendan Johnson seems to have gotten his wish. The only time that this facility historically has been available is when the Bears are are in town. We need to make sure that we have a 365 operation. A public private partnership for a new bear stadium that stays in Chicago, where the community can make use of the space, not just on game day. We are organizing everyone who is impacted. Um, I've expressed and there's uh, some agreement here. We need to have more public space, particularly green space. In an early morning announcement, Bears president and CEO Kevin Warren released a statement saying the team is proud to contribute over $2 billion to, quote, build a stadium and improve open spaces for all families, fans, and the general public to enjoy in the city of Chicago. Last month, he told us. I love Chicago. I've said it many times before. It's the greatest city in the world. He seemed to abandon an earlier plan to move to Arlington Heights for a $2 billion investment likely on the lakefront. We asked an expert if that'll be enough to front the bill. So there may be some additional taxpayer contributions, but the argument there will be that all of those contributions will come from taxes that are generated on the site. So you'd be paying you know, amusement taxes and sales taxes and hotel motel taxes and other things that are not necessarily general taxes that everyone would pay. Justin Marlowe from the University of Chicago suggested another partnership. This probably is going to require the Bears and the Sox to work together. To propose a joint investment in all Chicago sports while the new legislative session continues in Springfield. A pairing Bears CEO Kevin Warren has said he's not opposed to. People think it's, 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 it has to be an either or. Uh, you know, either the Bears or either the White Sox or either the Bulls or the Cubs. Or, and and I'm, I'm coming from a mindset, there's enough for everyone. As for where this new stadium will be, that is very much still up in the air. We are told this new stadium most certainly will have a dome. We're also told that there are renderings of what this might look like, and as soon as we see them, we will bring them to you. We're at Soldier Field. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you.